For practice at self-check 4.17 cumulative product, we are given the following output and we need to write code that produces it. So first, we are going to use a prompt and type out how many numbers. We'll have a system dot out dot print. And inside of here, we're just gonna have our parentheses and what we are prompting the user for. We are getting this number and then we are going to use it as a cap for our for loop and we are gonna run this that many times and multiply all of these together and then we're gonna print out the product of all of these numbers that were put in. So first we need a scanner to get this user input. We'll have a scanner and we will call it scan and we'll set it equal to new scanner that takes system dot input. After we do this, we need to store this number. So we're gonna make a variable for that. We will call it cap since it's going to be the top of our loop and we are going to set it equal to scan.nextInt. After we do this, we can run our for loop. So we'll do a for int is equal to zero and we are going to run this four times. So we're gonna say, we're gonna run it as long as int, I'm sorry, this should be int a, we need to call it something because we need to initialize it. We're gonna run this as long as a is less than cap and then we are gonna do a plus plus, that way it increments and we can eventually break out of our loop. Inside of our for loop, we are just going to have the math that will multiply all these together. To do this, we need to make an integer that holds it. So outside of our for loop, we'll do int, we'll call it product, and we will set it equal to one initially. That way when we multiply these, we would, if we were adding, we would set it equal to zero. That way we can add everything. But if we are multiplying and we set this equal to one, it's just always gonna, or if we, if this is set equal to zero and we're multiplying, it will always stay at zero. So in our for loop, we are just going to have product times equal. That way this is basically saying product is equal to product times the number that the user is inputting. And now we have to get this input. This is going to be another scanner. So we're gonna have to prompt the user for this next number. We'll do a system dot out dot print. That way we can print this. And inside of here, we are printing next number. They are going to print a next number. So our product is gonna be equal to our product times scan dot next int. After we do this, we just need to print our product. So we are gonna break out of our for loop and do a system dot out dot print line. And then here, we're gonna have product is equal to and then product. This should be good. If I press submit, we're gonna see that we've passed all three tests. So this is the code for this problem. Again, we are declaring a scanner right here to get user input. We are asking the user how many numbers they want to do. Then we have a cap that will store how many numbers that we are gonna let the user input. And then we are declaring that product is equal to one. That way we can multiply all of these together. We're gonna be in our for loop, the amount of time that the user wants us to be and then we are incrementing through our for loop with this a plus plus. We have a system.out.print that prompts the user for the next number, and then we take this number in our scan.nextint and multiply it by our previous product, increasing our product. Then we have a print line statement that prints out this product. So this is the code for this practice itself check 4.17 problem.